everybody, this is Jason Matthews. Uh, it's it's a crazy day uh, for the stock market. So just to give everybody a heads up, right now, today, the August inflation numbers came out. Now, the August inflation numbers did cool off in the month of July into August, where the inflation rate was is at 8.3% for the month of August inflation. But July numbers were 8.5%, and what we expected was to be a lot lower than that. But based off of uh, 8.3 is higher than what we expected, the market has had a major sell-off. So right now, um, and right now, we look at the markets uh, today, we will see the three major indexes having a huge major sell-off. So let me go ahead and share my screen to show you guys the market sell-off for it. So right now, this is on my own marketwatch.com. The Dow Jones average is down 1,000 points or 3.1% for the day. The S&P 500 is down 3.42%. NASDAQ is down 4.25%. Gold is down 1.44%, um, in which is kind of crazy because historically wise, when we talk about inflation, gold usually rises to counter inflation historically wise. So these are crazy times. And then if we look at the crypto market right now, the Bitcoin is down 7.9% today. Ethereum is down 6.74. Um, so we're, we're seeing overall all markets, equity markets. We also see uh, the crypto market are seeing drastic drops in the marketplace, uh, which is all caused because of deflation numbers are a lot higher. Now, let's really dig into these inflation and these inflation numbers, not just the broad sense of it, but let's really look into these inflation numbers. So I'm about to share my screen again for you guys to really understand what is happening with inflation. So right now I am going to uh, wolfstreet.com. He does a really good job on his perspective. He says CPI for services is up 6.8%. So services have not cooled down. It's actually still going up. So right now we're going to hear from the news media that inflation is getting controlled, but in services, inflation is still rising, which is not a good thing. So let's look at what numbers are rising. First and foremost, I feel this the most, health insurance. And I think this has been a killing heel, even when the Obama era, which I think I always say the problem that he didn't do was control the cost of health care. So right now, health insurance went up 2.4%, which is up 24.3% year over year. I definitely can feel that personally as I pay for health insurance out of my pocket every month and it's drastically expensive. I don't understand how the average family of four can, can, uh, can afford proper health insurance. And I think due to the man, there's no more mandate, I think a lot of people might start questioning, should they get it? Another big thing that went through the roof was uh, motor vehicle and auto peer repair. I know I talked to my niece and she talked, I asked her about, her car getting worked on. Uh, I saw her, she came to my house. She was driving a different, different vehicle. I asked her what happened. She said it takes four to six months to get all the parts to repair her Honda. And I know that's for a fact because Honda plants, 40% of Honda plants uh, are, are, were shut down in China because of COVID. So we know, and also the chip shortage. And because of that, we know it's going to cost more for those parts. So it, was, it went up 9.1%. Delivery, delivery service. I'm just looking at things that went astronomical. 11.5%. Pet care, which I'm not sure why, is down 9.6%. Look at this. This is a huge one. Air Force Fair did drop down 4.6% for month over month, but it's still 33.4% year over year. It costs one third more than what it did last year. That is astronomical. Hotels and motels are staying flat, which is great. I mentioned to movie theater 6.2. So a lot of these things are are up year over year for services, um, but they did drop down. Cars and truck rental went down 6.2%. Phone services down 0.1% and admission to sporting events 6.7%. Yeah, I can see why for sporting events. Sporting events, 6.7% down. That makes sense. The reason why I'm being saying that, if it costs more to do my basic everyday things, for instance, I need my health insurance. I need pay for my pay for my residencies or my rent. I need pay for my uh, motor vehicle insurance, which is down 8.7%. Yeah, I don't have as much money for sporting events. So based off of supply and demand, of course, the price have drastically done, went down. Now let's look at core CPI, right? Core CPI um, right now is up 6.3%. So this is for, and then if we look at CPI for food at home is up 
13.5%. Now, the reason I like Wall Street is because he's only using government numbers. So let's look at this. Let's look at the numbers. I love Frosted Flakes. Cereal is up 6.4% year over year. Month over month, 1.1%. Poultry, chicken. <laughs> I love the Cat Williams jokes where he says, how he says wings? There's, there's two wings and two thighs. Love that joke, right? But when we look at poultry prices, they're up 15.9% year over year. Eggs up 39.8%. So let's look at this. It's up pretty much 40% from a year ago. Eggs are. Fresh fruit up 8.3. Vegetables up 7.6. Juices, not alcoholic beverages, up 13.1. Coffee, which everybody knows I love coffee, is up 17.6%. Fats and oil up 21.5. Baby food up 12.6. This is crazy. Eat at home how much it has went up over the last year right so inflation is not getting control because all these numbers a lot of these most of the majority of these numbers have risen over this period of time which is crazy it's alcohol the beverages up 50 percent i'm glad i got a good uh a good bar but if you guys want to bring anything over for the weekends have a cocktail that'd be great right and then right now if we look at c of cpi away from home it is up 8 percent. where are we seeing that overall energy cpi is still up 23.8 percent Gas year over year, yes, it went down 10%, 10.6%, but year over year is up 25.6%. Natural gas is 33.33% up. And let's talk about this with natural gas. We are hearing from Europe right now because the whole Ukraine issue, they're going to have gas, natural gas issues. And they're saying it's going to be a very cold winter because the lack of natural energy that they have because they're so dependent on Russia with this Ukraine war. There is a war on energy. We talked about the battlefield, but there's really a war on commerce and economics, which are usually a lot higher. Now, let's say you don't want to use natural gas. Let's go ahead and use propane, heating oil, propane, kerosene, firewood. That's up 4.8%. Now, the good thing is that is down 2.4% for the month, but it's up 48.8% for the year. So what we're seeing is home rent prices and home prices, they're seeing equivalent has risen, which is kind of a biased thing. As we know, we're seeing a lot of real estate markets, price, home prices are slowly dropping down. Um, so when we look at Zillow rent index is down, but we only see CPI rent, CPI OER that is up as well. So we're seeing a lot of, we're still seeing a lot of inflation is not controlled yet. Where we do see the major drop, which we see right here, is for durable goods. So right now, new vehicles is up 10.8%. Used cars starting to see a decline at 7.8%. Household furniture is up 10.6%. But information technology, computer smartphones, down 8.8%. It's a lecture item. Totally makes sense. So what we're seeing right now is, yes, inflation overall, based off the government status, is up 8.3%. For a lot of us and who are regular, hardworking middle America, we're seeing the prices skyrocket even further. And salaries do not are not going up with it. What we're going to continue to see is if interest rates are going to continue. We we're hearing a lot of economists saying we're going to see next week when the Federal Reserve, if the people have the power to print money, Jerome Powell, I always say the most powerful person in the world, we can see him increase interest rates for the uh see him increase interest rates from 75 basis points to 100 basis points, they're saying next week. So we have to contrast and tune. Will we continue to see this decline? We're not sure, but this is definitely a shocker to know that the inflation rates are not high as in. I'm not sure this is emotional buy or this is going to be something we are going to continue to see. So I will tell people, continue to track inflation. Understand how your personal inflation and personal inflation numbers are for you and your family and household and see where you can cut back or get another income to balance out this inflation. I tell people, it might be time to get a roommate. It might be time to get a side hustle. It might be time to figure out what your what your uh, what motivates, inspires you, and your tools and the gifts that God has provided you, and take advantage of that because we are in a time of inflation. And if we look at those inflation numbers, it could be drastically. Uh, those are drastically higher than what we expect. Another way we can look at is. Um, it's a uh, it's another website. Um, um, another inflation uh, data that I like to it's called Shadow Stats, and uh, they always come out with the new inflation numbers. I'm trying to see if their numbers are up right now for the year to date, um, because their numbers are usually good. 
when it comes to um, their inflation numbers. So when we look at shadow stats, um, they have an article right here I'm looking at for shadow stats. I'm trying to see um, if they have, if their numbers are updated yet for August. But let me just go ahead and show you guys um, shadow stats as well. So let me go ahead and go back to share my screen. Shadow stats based their inflation based off of consumer inflation in 1990. And they also have an inflation rate in 1980. If you look at the 1980 numbers that they suggested, CPI should be over 15% inflation. If we look off the 1990 status, we're just looking at inflation should be over 10%, more in this balloon, 12%. So we'll give you guys a heads up. Inflation is not controlled. The feds are going to continue to work on controlling it. As they have said, this is priority number one. So we need to learn how to do the greatest thing that humans are going to do, which is make adjustments into our lives our li in our lives, and figure out how to do survive this. Not just survive this, but look at where the opportunity is to take advantage of this. I hope this is great information. I'm back in the office full time. You're going to see a lot more video and content regarding, uh, regarding my stats, data, and information. I hope this is helpful for many of you guys during this period of time. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. I'm about to get ready for a meeting. I just want to give you guys a quick update as this is great, crazy news as we're seeing the market having a, a major sell-off today. Hope everybody have a good day. Make today a masterpiece.